Now we're going to look at a different kind of a for in loop, one that uses a range of numbers rather than a set of objects. So here we have for i in 1 to 50 do. So here I'm just creating a sphere and its position has random numbers from 1 to 50 for the x, y, and z coordinate. And its wire color has random numbers from 1 to 255 for the red, green, and blue components of the color. So I'll just highlight this. So this is going to execute this statement, the bottom line, 50 times. So here you can see all those spheres that got created. If I hit H, you can see it's exactly 50 spheres. Now in this case, I didn't use I in the loop, but I can. So I'm going to go down here, Control A to select all those and delete them. So instead of random numbers from 1 to 50, I'll use I. as the x, y, and z coordinates of the positions of these spheres. So let's go ahead and execute that. Now if I go down here, click on Sphero 1, it's at 1, 1, 1. I'll just click on another sphere. Sphere 17. Is it 17, 17, 17? So as you're going through the loop, you do have this variable i to work with within the loop. And it's equal first to 1, and then to 2, and then to 3, and so on, all the way through 50. So that's a for in loop using a range of numbers.